Hey everybody, I'm heading up to Wyoming this weekend for some mule deer hunting. I plan on making plenty of venison, sausage, and jerky if I harvest some animals. I need some snacks for the road, so I'm gonna make beef jerky with high mountains, spicy lime blend, jerky cure and seasoning, and the big shot jerky and sausage gun. What I like most about the high mountain kits is they come complete with everything you're gonna need. The kits include complete instructions on how to make jerky, including whole muscle, ground jerky, how to smoke it, cook it in your oven, or how to make it in a dehydrator. You're also gonna get enough seasoning and cure to make up to 15 pounds of jerky and you'll even get a shaker bottle for your seasoning and cure. Today I'm gonna to start out with ground beef. This is a 97 to three meat to fat ratio. The instructions call for three tablespoons and one teaspoon of seasoning, along with two tablespoons and two teaspoons of cure. I'll just go ahead and mix the seasoning and cure in this cup. I'm making a pretty good sized batch here, so my seasoning and cure isn't gonna quite fit in the shaker bottle, but we'll top it off. And we'll start mixing that up along with four cups ice water. After you've thoroughly mixed all of your ingredients, it should have the consistency of a raw meatloaf. Cover your meat mixture and refrigerate it for at least four hours or overnight. Good morning. It's been about 12 hours. It's the next day. The meat is fully seasoned and cured and we're outside by the smoker. First, let's open up the Big Shot Jerky and Sausage Gun. This kit has just about everything you're gonna need to start making perfect ground meat jerky, including the heavy duty Big Shot Jerky Gun, different size nozzles for making jerky and snacking sticks, a seasoning shaker bottle, enough seasoning and cure for making 10 pounds of jerky, and even a bottle brush for cleaning out the Big Shot cylinder. Just pick the size nozzle that you want to use. Now we can go ahead and start loading the jerky mix into the big shot. And just insert the plunger and trigger end. Make sure it's nice and tight. I have one of the High Mountain Seasonings jerky screens here. These are really inexpensive. You can get them for about 10 bucks from highmountainjerky.com and they also come with a couple of the High Mountain jerky kits. That's not gonna be enough to hold all of my jerky, so I also have this. This is a uh, seafood rack, actually, for my cook shack, but you can see it has small grates on there, very similar to the jerky screen. Make sure you spray your jerky racks and screens with non-stick cooking spray. And now we can start shooting jerky. The Big Shot's great because you're gonna get these perfect uniform strips of jerky. I've got enough for two full racks, plus I still have a full cylinder and some left in the bowl for another batch. Into the Cook Shack electric smoker, along with a piece of hickory wood. And set the temperature for 200 degrees. The jerky strips are fairly thin, so they're not gonna take too long to cook. The instructions estimate about an hour and a half, 90 minutes. Keep in mind, there's a lot of variables. I'm using an electric smoker. I can maintain a constant temperature. Um, you can do the same thing with propane. If you're using wood or charcoal, you might have some flexibility in your temperatures. Your cooking times might vary. Oh, man. Does that ever smell good? 
It's been about an hour and a half, so let's check the jerky. Look at these strips of tantalizing jerky just glistening in the sun. Let's give it a try. It's delicious. It has a good amount of heat and the lime flavor is great. You know, I've tried lime seasonings by companies before and the lime has a synthetic taste to it. Not very palatable. This is delicious. It really tastes like spicy lime. Super easy to make spicy lime or one of the many other delicious flavors from High Mountain Seasonings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shoot up the rest of my batch of jerky and make a whole bunch of it. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, please do so. And until next time, this is the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter saying praise the Lord and pass the jerky.